Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Had a kids. I'm Q the Coast Weekend, and today we're back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked battle stadium singles here in Regulation F 3v3s. Today, speaking of threes, we're using the number three ranked overall team in season 14, uh, made by somebody named Ryan. Uh, I guess that's their in game name. Uh, we'll have a link to the article as well as the website. In the description down below, just be warned, it is in a foreign language. So if you're an English speaker like myself, you might be a little bit confused as to what they're trying to portray. But don't we worry. We did the research. We have the Poke Paste as well in the description down below. Now, you might be thinking, Q, none of these Pokemon are all that interesting. You're wrong. Terra Rock Superior is kind of cool. But also, the interesting parts of this team lies in the EV spreads. Now, all the Pokemon look pretty, pretty basic as far as, you know... You know move sets and the pokemon themselves but uh the fluttermane is very convoluted with timid only 124 speed and a lot of phys dev a lot of a lot of physical defense and a lot of hp i know a lot of uh players in the high ladder like to run a more physically defensive fluttermane with things like substitute calm mind or charm draining kiss and stuff like that this one is still choice specs but the ev spread is really weird like they only have 36 evs in a spatak and like I said, a lot into defense. Uh, then you have the Shifu, which is actually Focus Ash, Dual Stab with Taunt and Sucker Punch. Um, they're also, they have no speed investment. They ha they're adamant max attack with a little bit of HP and a little bit of defense. So it's like kind of a bulkier Shifu, but it's also got a Focus Ash, I guess, for like Fluttermane and stuff. So you can live that. Um, this more or less looks like somewhat of a dedicated lead to try and counteract uh, Hazard Setters. And also just like deal damage to some more offensive Pokemon. Uh, speaking of which, we also have Chiyu, which is mod. This is the only one that's modest max max. It's just max attack, max speed. Very standard Chiyu business uh, with dual stab, dark pulse, flamethrower, and overheat. Uh, and then we have Dragonite, which looks like a very, very... This is the most interesting set, I think, uh, thus far. It's Terra Electric with the clear amulet to avoid things like Rock Tomb, Intimidate, anything that's going to lower your stats. This mon does not care. So it basically has... You basically give Dragonite both its abilities because its other ability is Inner Focus, which blocks Intimidate. So it's kind of like cool to rock out with the Clear Amulet because you prevent the Intimidate, but you also prevent things like I said earlier, like Icy Wind or Power Gem, not Power Gem, Icy Wind or Rock Tomb speed drops, which is really cool. Uh, and then you have Dragon Dance, which does uh, outpace um, Fluttermane after a plus one. Yeah, well, it outpaces the defense of Fluttermane after a plus one, um, but it also Oko's. Fluttermane after a plus one. So that's like the biggest thing there. Um, and then the really cool thing is breaking swipe, lowering its attack. At first, I thought this was like a little silly, in my opinion. But at the same time, I see the vision. I see the vision. You can lower their attack and then roost on them and then dance again. And then we have Terror Blast Electric to avoid things like th Thunder Wave spam. So it looks pretty cool. The mod I'm most interested in trying to use today is Terra Rock Superior. I know my good friend Skep informed me at the beginning of the season. Uh, season 14, uh, back when Superior was like brand new, uh, that Terra Rock Superior was actually going to be really good. And I didn't agree with them at first, but I see the vision now. Uh, this this could do this could do really well against something like uh, Hearth Flame Ogre Pond. Uh, could also just resist any other fire move, you know what I'm saying? Flying moves as well. Not that there's that many flying moves going around. Um, but, you know, like Terra Blast, I guess, uh, Landorus, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, once you, like, start getting Leaf Storm boosts, you kind of just steamroll with it. You got Taunt and Synthesis as well to beat potential, like, stall setters or stall, 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 errs. Yeah, stallers. Uh, so, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, we do, uh, we are speed creeping. I, I believe this, this superior speed creeps base 110 speed. So, like, Ogre Pond, of course. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Corviknight, which is mixed defenses with max HP and no speed so that you can get very slow U-turns off. Allegedly, according to uh, the creator of this team, this is mainly meant to deter Blood Moon Ursa Luna from showing up. And if it does show up, then it pretty much hard counters it uh, with Roosting and then Pressure to get rid of all the Blood Moons. And you're immune to Earth Power. And then you get to just Iron Defense and click Body Press. Regardless, guys, this is the team we are going to be taking into the Ranked Battle Stadium Singles Ladder. If you guys want to use the team for yourself, the team ID is in the right-hand corner, YKDDH3. Let me know in the comments down below if you ended up using the team, as well as any of the new Pokemon you might want to see us use in the future. Let us know that as well in the comment section down below. Once again, I did not create this team. Just a little PSA. I borrowed it. 
So don't roast me if you like. What the hell, man? The Fluttermane didn't outpace fucking this guy. What the hell? Uh, regardless, I uh, hope you all like the video. I hope you all subscribe if you're new. And I hope you all enjoy the battles. Ooh, this is a very interesting team. Okay, we have Gao Jing Fire, Wellspring Ogre Pond, Alola Nine Tails, Blood Moon, which is nice, Lottie, and the Clawed Sire. So. Things that look good here, guys. We're using the number three team overall in Season 14. Uh, we borrowed it from whoever made it, and here we are. What do we want to do? Um, hmm. Chiyu looks great and bad, obviously, for obvious reasons. I think I want to just lead off with it and see what happens. Um, Corviknight looks good for the Blood Moon, of course. That's kind of like its whole purpose on the team is to deter, at least that's what the person who made the team said, that to deter Blood Moon from even showing up. Um, and low-key, this Pokemon kind of goes crazy. If we can get rid of Claude Sire. And the, of course, the, the Nine Tails. Um, I also really like this Pokemon, if they don't get up rocks. Yeah, fuck it, let's bring her Shifu. Let's just bring, like, the three best Pokemon. I would say Fluttermane, because it makes a lot of sense. But I'm actually going Superior instead. Hopefully they don't bring Blood Moon. And if they do, we can tear a rock on the normal move and then Leaf Storm. Uh, best case scenario, we lead Chiyu. They lead Nine Tails. We kill them. That is the best case scenario I'm, I'm hoping for. It. But more than likely, they're going to lead like fucking Clod Sire or some stupid shit. Let's see. Oh no, they lead this, which is just as bad. Um, But we still get a big hit off. What is this Pokemon's name? Wellspring? Wellspring. I could Dark Pulse it. Overheat just kills if they're just max HP. I mean, if they're just <gasps> offensive and they don't Terra. If they do Terra, then I revenge it with Liss. So, yeah, let's go for it. Um, Let's just click Overheat. They do Terra. Okay. So now they resist this. And now it's not going to do anything. All right. Very interesting. Very interesting. Turn one. Terra. I guess I could have will o wisp in theory, but like, I don't know. I don't know. Burned. They get that Shpadef raise. But this, I mean, this means, as long as they kill us here, this means we get to go into uh, our superior afterwards. And Leaf Storm. So I'm cool with it. Yeah, the Ivy Cudgel is going to knock us out. Uh, a little unfortunate. Chi was kind of a good breaker here. Not going to lie. But, you know, turn one Wellspring. What are you going to do? Wellspring's probably the one I've used the least. Actually, no, that's not true. The, gr the grass one's the one I've used the least. Anyways, we're going to this. I honestly don't think Superior is speed creeping this, unfortunately. I am, by one point. Look at us. All right, so now uh, we click Leaf Storm. And it should do some damage. They could go on a Cloud Sire, of course, but I can taunt it. So that's not that big of a deal. So yeah, let's just do this. They do withdraw. So I'm assuming either Cloud Sire, Lottie... Maybe even the fucking other guy, the Gao Jing Fire, something like that. Um, they go out of this, actually. Okay. So, th that's interesting. Um, I really don't want to have to Terra, but I'm also, I'm also terrified of missing. But the next one should kill, regardless. So, I'm just going to do it. Please land. Let's go, Superior. You're so good. All right, perfect. So, now we see what they, the last is. And if it's Gao Jing Fire, we just kill it with Terra Rock. I'm hoping it's Gouging Fire. If it's Lottie, it becomes a little bit of an issue. Cloud Sire would also be an issue. It's this. Okay. I mean, sir, are you okay? Like, did you not understand what just happened? I don't think they know. Do they know? Chat? Oh, they, they know. All right, it's over. No, superior. Hey, man. Terror Rock Superior. What was the last Mon? Blood Moon? It must have been Blood Moon if they were... Yeah, if they just forfeited like that, must have been Blood Moon. Wow. One of the fucking fastest ever first battles. Hell yeah, team's good. <laughs> I just realized the last opponent's in-game name was Upset, which is kind of funny because they were definitely upset about what's it called popping off. This kind of looks like a doubles team low-key just because of Lilligan and Torkoal. Um, but uh, once again, Superior looking fucking crazy here. I can... I think we just lead off with Chiyu once again. Because it looks insano. And we could, like, overheat the Ogre Pond. We could Dark Post the Lottie. We could Dark Post the uh, Bundle. 
Superior, I think, once again, also looks fucking insane. And then something... Something, something... Hmm. I guess Urshi? Because of... Wicked Blow and a Sucker Punch should be enough to deal with Focus Sash, Sever Ledge. They're definitely going to be Boosted Up Bundle. Which is annoying. Boosted Up Bundle looks pretty insane against me, not going to lie. Although Fluttermane would be the counter to that. Or this into CC... Into dodging a Hydro Pump. Let's go for it. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. I'm really liking Superior, honestly. Superior against these two teams so far, not looking bad at all. Like, if I can... Hmm, what would I do? Actually, I don't really think there's anyone I could Leaf Storm in front of. Because Rock doesn't resist Rock. Which is what I'm... Like, if I, if I could tear in front of the Ogre Pond, I would. But Rock doesn't resist Rock, so... It is but neutral. Okay, this is great. This is actually perfect. So, uh, we're going to do something here. We're going to do something here. Torkoal. Max HP Torkoal does not appreciate this overheat. It actually kills. Holy shit. 75% chance to Oko. I'm clicking it. If they go out and like Flash Fire, Sour Ledge, they're insane. Because I should click Dark Pulse here. Nice. This might kill. Please kill. Chiyu. Kind of broken. In the sun. We don't even care about our minus two if we're in the sun. All right, so let's see what they go out into next. Uh, if it's bundle, I'm staying in and I'm clicking over here because I'm confident it kills. If it's Lilligant, same shit. Um, if it's Cyber Ledge, I might switch. Uh, it is Lilligant, yes. They could Terra Fire here. They very well could Terra Fire here. But then that's fine because I come in with this and I Terra Rock afterwards. Um, and I also revenge with this as long as they don't land a sleep powder. So I am just going to stay in and overheat. If they terra fire, whatever. So be it. They definitely should. Because if they don't, they're just silly. If they just attack me, they're crazy. They're crazy. They're dead. They're dead. There's no way they survive this. What are they thinking, bro? They just gave sun to Chi Yu and then went into a grass type. Thereafter. They just watched their fire type. The alleged resist. Get Oko'd. What were they thinking? You had a terror there, buddy. You had a terror there, buddy. Alright, let's see who's the last. If it's... If it's a uh, bundle, I just stay in. It's this. Ooh, I might want to switch. I might want to switch. I think I switch. Hmm. Everything low-key looks like it could, like, do something against this, which is funny. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go raw this. Oh, the battle was cancelled. Nice. Okay, perfect. I was gonna just gonna go in Urshifu, and if they add the deed, then I Wicked Blow. If they attack, then I Sucker Punch on the following turn. And then, regardless, we were gonna put it in, uh... Oh no, I went into Superior. Yeah, I was gonna Terra if they add deed. And if they just attack, then that's fine. We sack. We would've went back into Chiyu and Dark Pulse. And then, we had Focus Dash Urshi to clutch up in the back. Alright, let's... Wow. Two very quick battles. Maybe we get four battles in this one. Who knows? Ooh, alright. This is a very interesting matchup. Those first two battles went by so quickly, man. Um, so we're probably gonna get a fourth is kind of what I'm getting at. Unless this third one, uh, takes forever as well. There is a mouse hold, which is muy interesante. I think I just lead off with this. Superior looks like a great lead against the likes of, uh, the Ting Lu. I can Leaf Storm on everything else. Um, they lead Chen Pao. It's a bit of an issue, I guess. I do think Corviknight looks both good and terrible here. Um, so I'm going to bring Dragonite instead for the first time. And then... They probably get up Rocks with her Shifu. Not her Shifu, you know what I mean. Uh, Ting Lu. My bad. Um, but I think Chi... Ch I mean, Ch Fluttermane still looks good. So let's go with that. It's a ghost type. It can block the mouse hold. Not that mouse hold's a threat by any means. You know what I mean? But... When we have a Rocky Helmet Corviknight, of course. But since we're not bringing it, might be a threat. <gasps> Who knows? We'll find out. If they lead Mouse Hold and they just raw tidy up, then hey, you know. It is what it is. Uh, They do lead off with this. So this is actually really good for us. Because we, I believe we just get the Terror Blast Rock. I feel like that's what this whole thing was designed for. Was to like... Terrible. I, I think that's what the article said. It's in it's in a different language, so it's hard to understand sometimes. But uh, uh, new slash, it does not kill, but it does a lot. So if we Terra Rock, 
into Leaf Storm and then Power Gem, we do get a kill. So that's what I'm going to go for. Yeah, I think I have to turn one Terra. Uh, so that's what we're going to go for. We're going to turn one Terra into Leaf Storm. And then, and then Terra Rock in the following turn. So this is to resist the Cudgel. It shouldn't be doing that much damage to us. If they raw, like, grass move, then they're just crazy. Uh, maybe they want to predict something switching out and they trailblaze. That would suck. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Best case scenario, they rock to us. And we get a speed boost. That'd be super cool. Oh, uh, they do Terra themselves, which is very interesting. Uh, so now it's only going to be two times resisted on the Leaf Storm instead of quad. But we're going to get a plus two and then knock them out with Power Gem. So that's going to be great. Uh, if all things go according to plan. So please tell me you clicked fire move. Thankfully we land, which is huge. Let's go. And did they click fire move? They do. This is going to hurt. This is definitely going to hurt. Terra plus one. This is going to hurt. But it doesn't kill, which is the main thing. Uh, and now we do kill. And now we do kill. Now they might switch, which is fine. They just don't have a switch that wants to switch. You know what I mean? Like if they want to switch, switch. It'd have to be like water or Shifu. Which is crazy. You know what I mean? But they could do it. They don't. Perfect. This is gone. Let's go. All right. So Superior got rid of... We both Terra'd. So no more Terra. No, we don't have to deal with any more Terras, which is great. Uh, if they brought Chien Pao, that becomes an issue. They go into it right now and click whatever they want. Um, I'd be very unfortunate. I mean, I'd be very upset if they did, in fact, do that. Um, best case scenario... It's darker Shifu, right? And I click Synthesis as they Sucker Punch. Let's see what they do. They do go Chen Pao. Okay. So I could try to make a play here, guys. Now, they could click Crunch. They could click Ice Go Crash. They could click Sacred Sword. They could literally click any of these moves. But if they click Sacred Sword and I go Flutter Main, it's really cool. But I'm not going to do that. I'm pretty scared. Um, I will just Terror Blast. Maybe they're like, they do. Oh, I could have made the play. All right, so they're probably Sash, which is unfortunate. Uh, show me Life Orb. No Life Orb? Life Orb, huge, huge. I think this Fluttermane is designed to live a Chen Pao hit, but maybe not from Life Orb. Because it, uh, it is like very Fizz Def and a lot of HP invested. Um, so I'm hoping the Fluttermane can live because this is why we're sacrificing HP. I mean, this is why we're sacrificing speed for this exact scenario. Uh, if they're adamant, we outpace them, actually. Wait, so that's perfect. So, yeah, let's just click Moonblast. They're Sucker Punch. We live this. Oh, the calculated EV spreads, baby. Let's go. Big Sucker. Oh, wow. That is not a guarantee live. Um, That is a 12.5% chance to Oko. Adamant Life Orb Sucker Punch. So, odds are heavily, hev heavily in our favor. Alright, so they have Aqua Jet. We have this. We can't Terror Blast, what's it called? But, we can Breaking Swipe. Which might be our win condition. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, regardless, we Moon Blast. They Aqua Jet, okay. Let's find out. Can the Dragonite clutch up? If I still had my Terra, then yes, I could. But I feel like I definitely needed it on that turn one. I guess I could have let Dragonite, which would have been a little bit different. Um, regardless, normally this is the Pokemon that Dragonite's meant to set up in front of, or she rapid, but since I don't have my Terra option anymore, it's, it can't do it anymore. Uh, but if they're banded, we definitely win. So we'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, regardless, I just want to check some things. Uh, let's look at Waste Spinner. So if I plus one, plus one, and then get my thing broken... But you're at minus one. Mm, it's not enough. I am going to Dragon Dance. I think that is my way to win. They Thunder Punch. Wait, that's huge. Wait, it's absolutely huge. Unless they're conditioning me to, like, get Ice Spinner. But I think if they're Thunder Punch, they're not Ice Spinner. Especially if they're Aqua Jet. So, yeah, now we Breaking Swipe. Bro, this Breaking Swipe tech's about to work. That's crazy. I thought this was silly when I first saw it. I was like, breaking swipe? Really? But it makes sense. Oh, perfect. They're going for those. Nice. So yeah, I think we win. Yeah, I think we win. 
Because I just, uh, I just roost here. And then breaking swipe again. After. And then we're sitting pretty. Yeah. So yeah, they don't have Ice Winner. They chose Thunder Punch instead for, I guess, the rain matchup. Which is understandable. The rain matchup is pretty prevalent, to be honest. Uh, although, I kind of want to build the rain team myself again. Maybe put offensive Archaladon on there instead of, uh... <gasps> Instead of using that defensive Archaladon set. Although it's so clutch, man. It's so clutch. Uh, regardless, we breaking swipe. Yeah, let's go. All right. Hey, man. So who haven't we used on the team yet? In the first three battles, we've used almost everyone besides, I guess, technically or Shifu. And I guess kind of Corviknight. But actually, yeah, we didn't really use. Did we, did we use Corviknight in that second battle? I'm trying to think back. What was the second battle? Oh no, we just used Chiyu in that second battle. Yeah, so... Alright, let's see if we can try and get some Corviknight action. I don't know. Ooh, wow, okay. A lot of interesting teams you're running into. Pokemon you just never see. I deadass didn't even know Alolan Persian was in the game. Uh, regardless, Superior looks like an amazing lead because they probably lead off with Swampert. Um, and even if they don't, if they lead off with something like the Octillery... Not the Octillery. What the fuck's that Pokemon's name? Metagross? Um, we do have this. Uh, so speaking of, hold on. Speaking of, um, Metagross, Chiyu looks really good here. Hmm. This is going to be a tough one. I think, I think, I think we might have to save our Terra for Dragonite. I think Dragonite could clutch this one up. I never use their Shifu. Maybe I just lead off with their Shifu. But I feel like that, like, Let's them get up rocks with Swampert. Whereas Superior at least prevents that. But they might foresee that and just not lead it. You know what I mean? Because because that's what I should counter lead into them. Um, but yeah, I'll try to win with Dragonite. I think Dragonite could actually fuck around and win. So yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully they just lead Pert. If they lead Metagross, we just go into Corviknight, then U-turn. If they lead anything else, I think we just stay in. If they lead Ogre Pawn, I might just leave Storm. Honestly. Because I don't know what they would want to do. They do it off with Swampert. Beautiful. So they, if they want to Terra Poison here just to get up rocks, that's perfectly fine with me. I'm not going to waste this opportunity and like click Taunt or anything. I'm just going to click Leaf Storm. Like them getting up rocks kind of sucks for Dragonite specifically. But it's like, like this is fine, right? Now, because they're dead. Yeah. So like... That, that's what I was playing for. <laughs> I was playing for them being an idiot. Being being silly. Not an idiot. Being silly. Uh, which is staying into their 4x weakness with Superior. Because of Superior, bro, these battles have been going by so quickly. <laughs> it's so funny, man. Um, well, actually, the second battle was Chiyu. It wasn't Superior. But regardless, I stand by what I said. Anyways, this Pokemon is in. Hello, how you doing? How are the kids? Uh, what's this Pokemon's name again? Raging Abota. A raging bolt. So they might be the AV set. I am plus two. So I kind of want to just hit them. Just to see what happens. So I think I am. Because they might Terra. Nope. They just... they just Okay, so if they're AV, this is going to... No, that's not AV. Alright, perfect. So the next one should kill them. As they Draco, this might kill us. No, sir. And now we synthesis. We synthesize, baby. Oh, they're a jet pack. Let's go. Oh, White Herb. Oh, God. Wait, wait a minute now. Okay. A lot of things just happened there. Uh, I want to predict them thunderclapping. Thunderclapping. Clapping. How does that How does that thing go? I, I want to predict them thunderclapping, honestly, in synthesis. And I think I'm going to do that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Perfect. Come on, Superior. Show them why you're hot, baby. Okay, so now, a plus four Terra Rock should knock this out. I really wanted to save my Terra for Dragonite so that I could actually, like, hurt the Metagross, if that's the last one. As well as the um, Fluttermane. Because um, if I if I just... If they have Fluttermane and this Dragonite's just sitting here, I, I don't. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't. Uh, I'm going to synthesis again. Oh, so, bro. Superior just makes people quit the game. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but we got four battles in. And Terra Rock Superior just showed that it kind of fucks everyone's day up, which is hilarious. We didn't fight any of the, like, quote-unquote, like, meta-focused teams. 
We fought like a very like a lot of like random ass like Pokemon, which is kind of interesting. But hey, Terra Rock Superior still prevailed. Regardless, guys, that's gonna be it from us today. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below if you ended up using the team and how it went for you. <laughs> as well as any of the new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. Let us know that as well in the comment section down below. With that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.